Okay, hi there. Welcome to an updated series of short videos focusing on the economics of externalities and market failure. So this resource is going to be a series of short videos bringing together notes, diagrams, examples, and uh, some practice multiple choice questions on the economics of externalities, which is part of the, the main micro topic called market failure. Now, market failure is a catch-all phrase for when the price mechanism uh, fails to allocate our scarce resources in an efficient or equitable, equitable way. Uh, put put another way, it's when the, the operation of the free market, the price mechanism, leads to a net social welfare loss and when the, the outcome of market activity between producers and consumers is not necessarily satisfactory from the point of view of society. So the main role of prices is to allocate resources efficiently, but basically market failure exists when the competitive outcome of markets is not efficient or equitable. Now, one of the main reasons, there are lots of potential causes of market failure, and of course we have separate videos on each of these, public goods, information gaps, market power, monopoly power, and immobility and inequality. But in this series of videos, we're going to focus on externalities, the economics of external costs and benefits. So, what are externalities? Well, probably the best definition is that externalities is any spillover effect, either from production and or consumption, for which no appropriate compensation is paid to one or more third parties. Third parties also called bystanders. So external costs, external benefits are known as spillover effects. Now, a really, really important example. Point. Market failure occurs when the market price does not fully reflect the impact of negative and positive externalities. You see, externalities lie outside the initial market transaction between a producer and a consumer. And in fact, without some form of intervention in the market, uh, they're not reflected in the market price. So what are the main types of externality to know about, to be able to analyse, and of course, crucially, to evaluate? Well, uh, some examples require you to have four types of externality, others less. But let's just quickly go through the four main types of externality. The first one is called a negative production externality. Uh, this is external costs arising from production. And the classic example would be something like factory pollution, air pollution, noise pollution from a, from a manufacturing plant, or perhaps uh, a factor that emits waste into, into rivers and tributaries from a manufacturing process. So negative production externalities. The second uh, is negative consumption externalities. These are externalities that arise from our consuming of goods and services. So it could be household waste, uh, noise pollution from having a riotous party, for example, a negative consumption externality. Again, we'll cover, more that, cover those in more detail in future videos. Uh, a positive production externality is when a producer's action generates external benefits to other people. So things like reforestation projects, uh, the free sharing of academic research to the wider community can be seen as positive production externalities. And the fourth one is a positive consumption externality. So this is where my consumption or your consumption of a good or a service uh, has a cost and a benefit to me, but also generates external benefits to other people, bystanders, people in society. And a topical example at the moment, I guess, would be something like vaccinations to protect public health during a pandemic. So if you take a COVID vaccination, the jab, uh, there's a private cost and a private benefit to you. Uh, but there's also, in theory, uh, I think in practice as well, there's quite a significant external benefit from the herd immunity that builds up. Now, a key concept, don't forget this is our introductory video, we'll come on to the analysis diagrams a little bit later. A key concept is the difference between private cost and external cost. So private cost is the cost paid by the producer or the consumer. They're also called internal costs. So if you own a car, for example, there's a cost of owning a car and running a car, the insurance, the petrol, the depreciation, all of those things are internal costs. 
big debate at the moment about the internal cost, for example, of buying and running electric vehicles compared to petrol and diesel. The private cost is the cost internal to the producer or the consumer, whereas the external cost is the externality. So this is when uh, your production or consumption imposes an, an extra cost on the well-being of a third party, a bystander. And that means that social cost is greater than private cost. So what's the difference between private benefit and external benefit? Well, private benefit is the benefit, the satisfaction, the utility, the joy that an individual agent in, uh, gets from consuming or uh, from consuming goods and services. So you enjoy a meal out or enjoy watching a film or what have you. You enjoy going on holiday. Uh, you enjoy a takeaway pizza. That's a private benefit. It could be a business getting a private benefit. They're selling the pizza and getting the revenue and potentially the profit from doing that. So the private benefit is the internal benefit to either the producer or the consumer from the action, from the activity in the market. The external benefit uh, is the, the the private benefit. We're all part of society. But also we have to add in the external benefit that might occur from production or consumption. So social benefits include private benefits plus any external benefits to one or more third parties. We sometimes call those bystanders. So marginal private benefit is the benefit, the extra benefit, satisfaction, utility, gained through consuming or producing an extra unit of a good or service. Marginal private cost is the cost to a producer or consumer from supplying or consuming one extra unit of a good or service. So how are private, external and social costs different? Quick summary coming up. Marginal private cost is the internal cost faced by the producer or the consumer, directly involved in the transaction. It's the cost of the next unit to them. Marginal external cost is the external consequence of their actions. So pollution and congestion, for example. If we add the two together, if you add marginal private and external cost together, you get the marginal social cost which is the total cost to society from producing, consuming an extra unit. And social cost is private cost plus external cost. Really, really important. Social cost is private cost plus external cost. And marginal social cost is the marginal private cost plus the marginal external cost. Now, very quickly, it's very easy for students to confuse social cost with external cost and multiple choice questions on this topic consider this common error so so just be careful social cost equals private cost plus external cost in the next video we're going to take a look at some examples of negative externalities from production and also from consumption